Parikhije. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha conference call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji, Dandavat Pranam, All Glories to Srila Prabhupada. This is Vinita Gandharvika Devidasi from College Station, Texas. Hare Krishna Vinita Gandharvika Mataji, Dandavat Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji, Dhanvach Manam, please accept my humble obeisances. I'll go to Srila Prabhupada. This is Vatna from Atlanta Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Vardhana Mataji, Dhanvach Manam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much Mataji for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji, Dhanvach Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. This is Shama Gauri Devi Dasi from Charlotte. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shamagori Mataji, Dandavas Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji, Yamagori, Srila Prabhupada, and Guru Maharaji. My humble obeisance is to you and all the devotees. This is Krishna Kumari Devdasi from Dhamma. Hare Krishna, Krishna Kumari Mataji, Dandavas Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, then what's going on? Or wish to prove that all wish to be in the or wish to ask somebody what it is. This is Mohini Lakshmi from this side. Mohini Lakshmi Mataji, then the best pronoun, she looked over at KJ. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining with this single conference call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all the assembled devotees. This is Indulekha Karna Devi Dasi from me. Hare Krishna Indulekha Karna Mataji. Dandavas Pranam Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you Mataji for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Okay. I welcome all of you. Once again, for joining today's Bhakti Sangha conference call. Today, we are really fortunate to have His Grace Praja Mohan Prabhuji to enlighten us on the topic of Srimad Bhagavatam 7.4.37 onwards. Before I hand over the call to Prabhuji, I would like call to Tiffany Mataji for the brief introduction on Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Mataji, over to you. Hare Krishna Mataji, and about Pranam. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. This morning we have with us His Grace Braj Mohan Prabhuji. Prabhuji is a monk, a life coach, and an inspirational speaker. Prabhuji is a disciple of His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj and is a resident monk at Iskand Chaupati in India. He is a student's mentor at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, where he also earned a B.Tech degree. Prabhuji has a Master of Science degree in quantum physics from the University of Illinois, Chicago. Braj Mohan Prabhuji has given seminars on science, spirituality, leadership, relationships, and self-development. He has been speaking on various topics at prestigious universities and at several corporations in the U.S. and in India for over a decade. Using ancient wisdom for current dilemmas, his messages inspire the audience to think deep, act right, and live full. Hare Krishna. Welcome to the call, Prabhu. Thank you, Mataji, for the brief introduction. <laughs> If anybody would like to introduce themselves, they can go ahead. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Please accept my humble obeisances, Mata. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj. This is Meena from Naperville, Chicago. Hare Krishna, Meena Mataji. Dandavas Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference Call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, this is Shopanisha Devi Dasi calling from Ohio. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Guru Dave, 
all the wonderful, wonderful Vaishnavas. Hari Hari Bo. Hare Krishna Shri Shopanishad Mataji, Dandavas Pranam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining Bhakti Sangha Conference call. Hare Krishna. Mataji, is someone trying to connect Prabhuji? Prabhuji is on the call. Prabhuji is on the call. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, please accept all of our humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for uh, giving your valuable time and association in this Bhakti Sangha conference call. We are really fortunate to hear from you on the topic of Bhagavatam today, Prabhuji. Thank you. Thank you so much for your valuable time and association. We can't hear you, Prabhuji. No, Prabhuji. No, Prabhuji, we can't hear. Can you hear me now? Yes, 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 Prabhuji. Uh, you'll share the screen, Mataji? Yes, Prabhuji. Today's verse is 7.4.37. Yeah. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya We are reading from Shri Bhagavatam, Canto 7, uh, Chapter 4, The Atrocities of Hiranyakashipu, um, Text 37. Nyasta krida na koba lo jaravatan manastaya Krishna graha grihitatma naveda jagadidrisham Nyasta having given up krida naka all sportive activities or tendencies for childhood play bala a boy jaravat as if dull without activities tan manastaya by being fully absorbed in Krishna Krishna Graha by Krishna, who is like a strong influence, like a Graha or planetary influence. Grihitatma, whose mind was fully attracted, na, not Veda, understood. Jagat, the entire material world, Idrisham, like this. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Shrapa. From the very beginning of his childhood, Prahlad Maharaj was uninterested in childish playthings. Indeed, he gave them all gave, gave them up altogether and remained silent and dull, being fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Since his mind was always affected by Krishna consciousness, he could not understand how the world goes on, being fully absorbed in the activities of sense gratification. Purport. Prahlad Maharaj is a vivid example of a great person fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Dila, 8th chapter 274, it is said, A fully Krishna conscious person 
although situated in this material world, does not see anything but Krishna. Anywhere and everywhere. This is a sign of a Mahabhagavata. The Mahabhagavata sees Krishna everywhere because of his attitude of pure love for Krishna. As confirmed in the Brahma Samhita 538, Prema Anjana Bhakti Vilochane Na Santas Sadaiva Radayesh Viloka Yanti Yam Shama Sundara Machinte Gunaswarupam Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. I worship the primeval Lord Govinda, who is always seen by the devotee whose eyes are anointed with the pulp of love. He is seen in his eternal form of Sham Sundara, situated within the heart of the devotee. An exalted devotee or Mahatma who is rarely seen, who is rarely to be seen, remains fully Krishna conscious of fully conscious of Krishna and constantly sees the Lord within the core of his heart. It is sometimes said that when one is influenced by evil stars like Saturn, Rahu or Ketu, he cannot make advancement in any prospective activity. In just the opposite way, Prahlad Maharaj was influenced by Krishna, the supreme planet, and thus he could not think of the material world or live without Krishna consciousness. That is a sign of a Mahabhagavata devotee. Even if one is an enemy of Krishna, <clears throat> a Mahabhagavata sees him to be all, also engaged in Krishna's service. Another crude example is that everything appears yellow to the jaundiced eye. Similarly to a Mahabhagavata devotee, everyone but himself appears to be engaged in Krishna's service. Prahlad Maharaj is the approved Mahabhagavata, the supreme devotee, in the previous verse, it was stated that he had natural attachment, naisargiki ratihi. The symptoms of such natural attachment for Krishna are described in this verse. Although Prahlad Maharaj was only a boy, he had no interest in playing. As stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.242, viraktir anyatracha. The symptom of perfect Krishna consciousness is that one loses interest in all material activities. For a small boy to give up playing is impossible. But Prahlad Maharaj, being situated in first-class divorce service, was always absorbed in a trance of Krishna consciousness. Just as a materialistic person is always absorbed in thoughts of material gain, a Mahabhagavata like Prahlad Maharaj is always absorbed in thoughts of Krishna. Om Ajnana Pnirandasya Jnana Shalakaya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Karamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamsha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpati Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Prishabhano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, uh, welcome to all the devotees.
uh, on the conference call uh, where we are discussing Shivan Bhagavatam and uh, sincerely seek uh, blessings from all the senior devotees that are present uh, with us and to all the devotees that we can uh, discuss uh, something to nourish us and to purify us from this amazing verse that is there in the Bhagavatam. Uh, seventh Canto, Chapter 6, uh, verse number 37. This is one of the very famous verses uh, that comes where Prahlad Maharaj's you know, situation, uh, his absorption <coughs> is uh, being described. That how he is so absorbed in Krishna that nothing else is, you know, uh, making him uh, uh, attracted. Nyasta kridana ko balo jadavat tan manastaya krishna graha grihit atma na veda jagat idrisham. So, uh, in this verse, uh, we see that, you know, Prabhupada is uh, mentioning about this aspect that how children are so much into playing. In fact, Shankaracharya, he, uh, in, his, in, in one verse, he says that, you know, uh, Balastavat Krida Sakta, Tarunastavat Taruni Sakta, Vriddhastavat Chinta Sakta, Kone Parabrahmani uh, Nishta. He speaks in this verse that how uh, in childhood, uh, the, uh, the jiva, the living entity, is so absorbed into playing. Uh, balas, uh, balasyak, balas tavat krida sakta. Different types of play and so many toys uh, that you know they want to play with. And taruna stava taruni sakta. And you know, uh, once when someone is a young boy, he gets att attracted to a young girl. So taruna stava taruni sakta. And vice versa. And uh, vridha stava chinta sakta. And when, uh, when one is old, he is attracted to or is absorbed in different chinta, different anxieties about things, how things are not working. And in this way, the living entity is having something or other uh, engagement or occupation, uh, something uh, that he uh, puts his mind into. And therefore, Kone, is, Shankaracharya says, Kone, who has Parabrahmani Nishta, who is having that, you know, focus and absorption in uh, Krishna. And so, so it's, therefore, Prabhupada, you know, mentions that it is almost impossible for a child to give up play. But herein we see that, you know, the Prahlad Maharaj, he is so much uh, attracted by Krishna that uh, nothing else is uh, attracting him, interesting him. Balastavat Krida, uh, Balas, sorry, Nyasta Krida Nako Balo. And it was not like, you know, uh, a poor little house where there are not many things to play. Or there was no availability of the uh, toys. Pra, his father, Hirnakashipu, was the ruler of the universe. And therefore, all kinds of mystical things were available with him. But he didn't have any attraction to, uh, towards them. And uh, two things that are uh, being mentioned here. One is that his uh, lack of attraction uh, for anything in this world, including uh, play toys. Another is his uh, is complete absorption, tan manastaya. Uh, his uh, mind was fully attracted to Krishna. You know? And this verse is, uh, this uh, word is used, Krishna graha. As if he has been uh, captured or, you know, mm -hmm. 
conquered by krishna graha and proper mentions this that you know there are some sometimes some planetary influences that uh, people are uh, influenced by and they are not able to come out of these planetary influences uh, but when one uh, gets absorbed in 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 uh, when krishna then none of these planets actually can influence him and uh, sometimes you know uh, especially the mind is uh, very much influenced by the planetary uh, uh, influence systems and especially the moon planet which is the closest uh, uh, which has the most effect on the mind and uh, therefore you know the mind uh, uh, to to control our mind we are all asked to you know do ekadashi ekadashi comes uh, for the three days before uh, the full moon day and the new moon day where the mind's influence is the most but if we fast uh, two three days before then you no know, it prepares our uh, body to be able to not influenced by the uh, grahas by the moon planet and krishna's uh, krishna's influence is almost like that planetary influences where you no know, the devotee is helplessly attracted to krishna and is drawn to krishna we in uh, we we uh I have heard this story of Belmangal Thakur before he was uh, a great he, he came to Vrindavan and he surrendered himself fully he was <clears throat> very much uh, attraction in attraction with this uh, prostitute called as Chintamani and being attracted to this Chintamani you no know, uh, that day his uh, father had passed away but the lust was so strong in his heart that he gave up uh, in midst of his father's funeral and he ran uh, to go and meet the chintamani and uh, that time it was heavily raining but he didn't care for what type of rain is there he just ran towards uh, the house and and it said there was a river uh, that was flowing but he didn't mind he crossed the river with the help of a kind of log but that was not a log that was actually a dead body of uh at but he uh what was not at all um, influenced by that and he just you no know, crossed and then there was <clears throat> a snake that was uh, hanging and that uh, he also just uh did neglect didn't see whether it was a snake or a rope he, he caught the snake had to climb the to the uh, upper floors and then he went to meet and uh, and chintamani was totally surprised <laughs> that how did you come uh, in in such a storm and then he explained he explained that you know i didn't mind whether it was a dead body i didn't mind whether it was a snake i just wanted to meet you and enjoy with you and that time chintamani she you know chastises bilumangal takur and she says that only if you had you know such this kind of uh, uh, attraction towards uh, lord krishna lord govinda you will make so much you know, you'll you'll make so much progress and uh, she and when she chastised him it came, he came to his senses and then you know he he really you know thought about what chintamani told and then you know he started his journey towards uh, vrindavan and uh, then he fully got absorbed in vrindavan and of course on the way uh, he saw that his eyes are still troubling him and therefore he you no know, requested uh, uh this brahmana this story is there that you know he went he was to a grahastha's house and then you no know, as you know, he, he gets attracted to this uh, uh lady he 
you know, ask in charity that I want to enjoy with this your wife. And this Brahmana, you know, agrees that this, here is a Brahmana who is requesting and we need to fulfill. And as he is about to enjoy again the uh, again the words of Chintamani come to his mind. And he, you know, he sees how diseased is uh, his mind. And uh, if he has to get attraction to Krishna, then he need to, you know, pluck his eyes out and he requests uh, this lady to give her needle, her pin, and he plucks his eyes. He punctures his eyes to become blind. And of course, it is not uh, recommended or something that we can tolerate. But he had such an such a desire to only be absorbed in Krishna that he you know, removed his eyes. He became blind. And then he went to Vrindavan and near Radha Damodar temple uh, the, there is that a place where Bilvangal Thakur used to sit and uh, chant about Lord Krishna, different verses. So, uh, so when one is attracted to Krishna, then uh, naturally one's attraction towards material world starts to go down. And there are two levels. One is, you know, philosophical, which is in the head. And another is psychological, which is, which is in the heart. Through hearing of scriptures, through understanding the nature of this world, like, you know, here in uh, Prahlad Maharaj says that, I'm not able to see how this world is uh, so much in, in uh, attraction to uh, how, how this world is running. Now, Veda Jagad Yidrisham, how is this world running without an inch of element of attraction to Krishna? And uh, <clears throat> so that's the influence that, you know, when one becomes a devotee in everything, he starts to see Krishna. And 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 Narsimadeva and Krishna are non-different. And Krishna Graha Grihit Atma. So when he saw Lord Narsima as non-different than Lord Krishna. And that's why, you know, uh, he was able to see Krishna everywhere. That's why when he was being punished, uh, by, by attempted to be killed, when he was amidst the serpents, he didn't see them as, you know, serpents that were coming to kill him. He saw these are my these are my relatives. These are my father is Lord Krishna, and his brother is Balaram, who is uh, Ananta Shesh, and these are all the family members of Ananta Shesh. So therefore, you no, know, uh, why do I need to worry? And with, within all these serpents, he was uh, remembering uh, Ananta Shesh and uh, Lord Krishna, and therefore he was completely fearless. And then when he was uh, being uh, thrown into the ocean. He also saw that this ocean is my you know, uh, mother's home. My mother is Lakshmi Devi and Lakshmi Devi comes from the ocean and uh, here in this ocean is my you know, uh, Nana. This is my Nanaji's house, my, my mother's father's house. So if I'm going to my mother's father's house, why should I <laughs> be worried? And Lord Krishna seeing uh, uh, Prahlad Maharaj, such devotion, such, no, uh, seeing him everywhere, such trust in him, he was protecting him in every place. And uh, if any of you have gone to Ahobalam, I don't know how many devotees here have gone to Ahobalam. There, there is a beautiful uh, temple of uh, nine, nine temples of Narsimadev. Uh, and uh, all these different temples of Narsimadev are so beautiful. Uh, are different uh, qualities of the Lord are being manifested there. Of course, it's an adventure to go to uh, Ahobalam. But if someone goes, you will see how the different uh, deities of Nar Narsimadev are there, Dif representing different uh, aspects, different features of this Leela. And uh, in that uh, place, there is also one temple. There is also one temple of uh, where all the nine deities are together. 
I don't know how, how many of how many devotees have gone uh, to Ahobalam. I just got I saw one man, one uh, uh, chat. If those who have gone can can they just do a thumbs up? So I know how many of you here have gone. Uh, so not many have gone. This is in the South India, Andhra Pradesh. So there are three or four devotees that have gone. So uh, there. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, temple uh, of all Lord nine uh, uh, forms of the Lord that are there, and along with the nine forms that are there, there are all the Navagrahas that are also uh, be, be below each uh, form of the Lord. And I would just like to know because this verse is speaking about the Navanarsi uh, Krishna graha and how uh, Lord Krishna. When we take shelter from by his anugraha, we are protected from all the different planetary influences and we don't have to uh, think about which planet is influencing me. Uh, provided we take you know, full shelter of Lord Narasimha Dev as being mentioned here. Do I have permission to share the screen? Yes, Prabhuji, you do. Okay, okay. Thank you. So this is you no know, different uh, forms of Lord Narasimha Dev. Hope you are able to see these different forms of Lord Narasimha Dev that I put on the slide. And uh, you no, know, under each form of the Lord, you will see that there is uh, a particular graha. You no, know, in the in the Vedic understanding, there are these Navagrahas, nine planets which have the most influence on uh, different individuals based on their astrological chart. And Prabhupada also mentions you know, Saturn and Rahu, Ketu. So, uh, you see here the Ugra Narsima, the form of Ugra Narsima. That's also... Ugra Narsima is, uh, is there down, uh, which is also called as Ahobala Narsima. So Ahobala Narsimha, uh, he uh, he he uh, uh, is uh, one. If one takes shelter of Ahobala Narsimha, or also known as Pralad Narsimha, it, this is the form of the Lord that came out uh, from the pillar uh, when Nirinakashipu was arrogantly saying that, "Where is your Lord?" And uh, recently in one of the class, Radha Gupinath was telling here that we, you see two levels of consciousness. Uh, one is Prahlad Maharaj who was able to see Lord everywhere, although he was not visible. And then there is Hiranyakashi who was not able to see the Lord anywhere. And even when he came in front, he was not able to see. And when the journey of a devotee is you know, from the stage of Hiranyakashipu to the stage of Prahlad Maharaj, we are able to see the Lord everywhere. And, we, and when one takes shelter of Lord Narasimha Dev, just like Prahlad Maharaj did, so this particular form uh, that represents, it says that if somebody, uh, uh, Jupiter is in the, in the, uh, in Sanskrit, Jupiter's name is, anyone knows, it's called as Guru. It's one of the biggest planets. It's uh, called as Guru Graha, and uh, therefore, in uh, or or you no, know, we call as Thursday. Uh, so, uh, Guru R in in Hindi we call it. So this planet is uh, is com completely under the subjugation of uh, uh, Jupiter under Ugra Narsima, and uh, and and anyone who takes shelter of Ugra Narasimha Dev, it said that, that the devotees uh, won't face any, uh, they get the courage to face all kinds of fears. Uh, 
the lord narsimha dev as ugra narsimha he blesses with uh, with courage and also uh, when one you know goes into this world there are so many competitors that try to you know uh, put put a devotee down so the devotee uh, uh, by the blessings of ugra narsimha he wins over the competitors that are that are come in one's uh, any kind of life whether it be professional spiritual so if, uh, therefore the guru planet has a huge it's one of the biggest planets in the solar system and it has uh, uh, it, it you know if one takes shelter of ugra narsimha a uh, guru also is spiritual master so how how did uh, narsimha pralad maharaj take shelter of ugra narsimha through his guru his uh, spiritual master narada muni therefore when narsimha dev came comes he offers his complete gratitude to his guru so when one takes shelter of lord Nar- narsimha lord krishna it's not that one uh, no, forgets his guru it, it is through one's guru uh, one takes shelter of uh, the spiritual uh, lord krishna and then there is the shani graha and shani graha is completely uh, if you see the dt shani graha is saturn and saturn is uh, is uh, completely under the uh, uh, power of yoga narsimha so here uh, you see yoga narsimha yoga narsimha is also is in his yogi bhargava narsimha you see the bhargava narsimha form no no not bhargava narsimha but uh, chatravata narsimha so chatravata narsimha oh sorry sorry it is yogananda narsimha i am uh, confusing here so yogananda narsimha is where pralad maharaj was taught yoga by lord by Pral, uh, by lord narsimha dev that how no i am there to always protect you but you should also no uh, uh, equip your body your mind to be able to protect yourself so therefore so one of the forms of the of rare forms where lord narsimha dev himself is you no know, teaching yoga and it is called as yogananda narsimha dev the lord who taught yoga not just you no know, physical asanas but also how to align one's body mind intelligence ego uh, so that one uh, is capable to worship the form of the lord and uh, and so shani graha which is saturn planet is uh, the influence is removed when one takes shelter of yoga narsimha and then the mars planet mars is mangal graha there is a, this mangal the influence of mangal especially in marriages this becomes a big topic uh, mangalik it's called as when someone is influenced by the mars planet you no know, marriage doesn't happen or he faces difficulties and uh, mangal graha is uh, totally under the subjugation of jwala narsimha and jwala narsimha is the most angriest form of the lord and therefore it's called as jwala that that he was at the peak of his anger when he came out of the pillar and when he is no uh, splitting open the chest of uh, the torso of uh, hiranyakashipu you can see here hiranyakashipu is on on his lap and is tearing apart and uh, this form is uh, comes just before the topmost form called as ugrastamba just before that this form is there of jwala narsimha where narsimha dev's anger reached its peak and it tore apart and it said that whoever takes uh, you no know, shelter of jwala narsimha if he has any you no know, uh, uh, influence of mars planet because of which his marriage is not happening or is not able to get have good health and uh, or in or any kind of success in any endeavors uh they are removed so the whole point is uh, in the temple that you don't have to uh, individually go and take shelter of all these different planets different influences if you completely if you take complete shelter of lord krishna lord narsimha uh, then it is up to him how he wants to manage us how he wants to 
uh, drivers there is, in america there is this you no know, tesla cars where you don't drive uh, the car drives himself or there is a software but of course i heard that you know it is not that once you buy it is uh, yours there is a subscription that you have to come you have to monthly or annually keep paying uh, for uh, that software to be connected and then the tesla software drives your car so uh, similarly uh, of course in this world there are accidents because of that sometimes if the software is not accurate but lot software lot management is the is the best so we uh, it is not that lot drives himself just like krishna was guiding arjuna and arjuna was being guided by lot krishna's instructions so same way devotees uh, we take guidance of the lord and we depend on fully of the on the lord therefore no it is said uh, surrender means uh, to be like draupadi and arjuna together a uh, draupadi fully dependent on the law fully showed full dependence that now i am helpless and arjuna uh, showed full diligence uh, diligence while he was fighting so to be alert to be diligent in the service of the lord is also important just like uh, mother yashoda was diligent that you know the pot of uh, milk that she was boiling doesn't uh, overflow and at the same time she was also taking care of the lord of course it's a past time where lord krishna is showing that you no know, if you become over conscious and you neglect me you put me aside then i don't uh, appreciate that especially you no know, uh, it is said lord krishna didn't like the uh, suddenness which which we she, she did that she didn't you know convey converse with the lord that i need to do this service and therefore you no know, please excuse me uh, so it was uh, lack of etiquette of course it's a past time but it, mainly it was because of lack of etiquette that uh, lord krishna got angry now uh, like just like prabhupad when he was being you know instructed corrected by his father his father used to tell him that this, this is my service to correct you and therefore you no know, i am i am uh, reprimanding you or correcting you so many times when we do right things you no know, uh, because we are uh, in the urgency of the matter or because we are just think that's because that's right then uh, in pursuit of that whatever uh, i do is also right but lord krishna wanted to show a, a corrective measure that a devotee should not be abrupt uh, in his dealings with devotees with with the lord it has to be done in a very gentle way just uh, today uh, morning i was in the altar uh, dressing uh, lalita and vishaka and you no know, previously we used to uh, bow our heads on different uh, uh, at the lif- at the lotus feet of radha gopinath or gopal ji gornitai and sometimes you know there uh, because of the suddenness uh, there was always a risk that dt will be harmed so then you know we used to just touch the lotus feet of the lord and we used to you no know, take permission of all the deities before we are uh, dressed and in, and then you know what used to happen is sometimes uh, the pujari used to come late uh, for some particular deity dressing but because of this habit of touching different uh, feet of the lord uh, used to get you know, kind of disturb the absorption of these other pujaris as they are like they are in the middle of dressing shrimati radha rani or gornitai or sometimes you know the paraphernalia that are kept in front we used to kind of topple over so then you know then uh, it was asked to maharaj that you know, maharaj uh, uh, the what is do this and you know sometimes it creates uh, disturbance i'm sure then maharaj said you know the the, the pujari has only right to you no know, touch and worship the deity which he is dressing all others you no know, he can pay respects and uh, and because we are used to you not know, going and touching and now that you no know, we are not going and touching ah uh, to many of us this kind of habit came where we just okay mujhe mere deity se matlab hai and we should just go 
and you know to test the lord but today i saw one of the senior uh, brahmacharis what he did was that he didn't touch the dt uh, and and doesn't mean that he also went and you know just uh, did his own dt worship he went in front of each uh, dt of uh, in the altar and he requested you know he prayed to each each form of the lord and then he went to his particular uh, dt and it was such a lesson for me because sometimes you no know, okay if this is not being done then i just di directly jump to another thing but he adjusted that oh if i cannot touch i can at least pray so same way uh, so same way uh, lord does not like when we you know abruptly stop the service and uh, here in uh, in the form of mars planet, uh, the mangal graha which is overseen by jwala narsimha the lord the lord uh, tore open hiranyakashipu's uh, body because it was troubling the devotees and he was going to kill and and therefore uh, when we pray to jwala narsimha and when we take his shelter any influence of mars planet graha is removed and it is it is said that a uh, good health and uh, a uh, devotee experiences good health so he can serve the lord nicely and also any hurdles in marriages also disappear so that's uh, jwala narsimha then uh, there is bhargava narsimha bhargava narsimha is bhargava is uh, again uh, one of the distant forms which is almost in a jungle when we go and uh, this form of the lord is uh, is in charge of surya dev the so the surya graha so surya is considered of the raja samasta suramuti rasheshate jam so surya is considered to be the king of all planets and uh, bhargava narsimha dev is the is the or uh, is the overseeing deity of uh, surya dev so any types of you no know, uh blessings that one gets from worshiping surya dev also one gets from worshiping bhargava narsimha and especially because surya is the is is the leader of all the uh, planets so when one worships bhargava narsimha dev so the qualities of surya like leadership qualities and you know uh, be, being able to oversee everything those kinds of qualities uh, the devotee is blessed with then uh, there is krodha narsimha krodha narsimha is uh, also called as varaha narsimha this is the combined form of varaha dev and uh, uh, nar narsimha's form both are combined just like in simhachala so varaha dev had appeared to kill hiranyakash hiranyaksha and narsimha dev had appeared to kill hiranyakashipu and this varaha narsimha form which is also called as krodha narsimha form is said to be double doubly angry uh and therefore in you know in simhachalam they put chandan on the form of the lord to cool to you no know, to make the lord peaceful they said that after the lord you no know, killed hiranyakashipu uh, both aspects of him the varaha dev that how hiranyaksha troubled the the whole universe and how hiranyakashipu troubled so we, these thoughts both came and therefore varaha narsimha is the combined form which uh, you, you see you will see uh, the rest of the body is like that of narsimha dev and the face is like that of varaha dev and he removes all kinds of obstacles uh, and assures success and it is said that because varaha dev uh, came to reclaim mother earth uh and put it into position any kind of real estate uh, problems land disputes that devotees have the by worshiping uh, krodha narsimha once uh, all this uh, land disputes problems or you no know, real estate problems are also removed along with you no know, getting uh, devotional you know merits and uh, uh, and mercy of the lord so krodha narsimha is rahu he is uh, uh, he controls the influence of rahu planet so rahu and ketu you know, 
of uh, a very big influences that uh, in astrology there is there so rahu rahu is looking towards you people say so rahu uh, influence is removed by krodha narsimha then there is the uh, pavana narsimha you will see pavana narsimha yeah, at the last over is pavana narsimha which is a uh, is a very you no know, peaceful form of the lord the lord is in a very peaceful uh, place and he overpowers uh, the influence of mercury planet one of the first planets and it is said that anyone who worships lord pavana narsimha all is present and past lives uh, sins are eradicated and uh, the devotee experiences lot of peace so he purifies therefore his name is pavana then there is the venus uh, the venus planet's influence is removed by malola narsimha uh, the the influence of venus what is venus called in sanskrit in uh, uh, shukra 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 so shukra grahas influence is removed by malola narsimha so so ma malola means motherly like so you will see in the seventh verse seventh vigra is malola like so lord narsimha dev who is accompanied by lakshmi also because uh, lakshmi is also there with lord narsimha dev it is called as malola narsimha another is uh, another understanding is where narsimha dev you no know, is in a motherly uh, mood because of mother lakshmi's influence and he is uh, willing to you no know, forgive all kinds of uh, Mm, offenses that are that are committed, and because Lakshmi Devi is along with uh, the Lord here, so anyone who is seeking any kind of wealth, uh, Shukra Graha, uh, in, because of Shukra Graha's influence, sometimes people are poor, but when one uh, takes shelter of Lord Narasimha Devi along with Lakshmi Narasimha, then all kinds of Ashta, you no, know, eight kinds of wealth that are there are bestowed upon. Uh, upon the devotee, and it's also said that if somebody worships Malola Narsimha, if somebody is an, is any debt, is any is in any kind of loan, uh, all those loans are also cleared by Lord Malola Narsimha Dev's uh, grace. Then there is Chatravata Narsimha, which 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 we uh, here it is uh, named as Chatravata. So Chatravata Narsimha Dev removes the. Uh, influence of Ketu planet, so Ketu planet is uh, influence is removed by uh, Chatravata Narasimha Dev. So Chatravata means somebody is the Lord who is under a umbrella or 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 under a tree. So when one uh, uh, is uh, uh, blessed by Chatravata Narasimha Dev, the Ketu influence is removed, and he uh, he he has a good Uh, it, it is written here that you no know, he has good agricultural produce and he has very stable economy and if he is into any kind of uh, music or arts he gains lot of good proficiency i am sure all as all of you are hearing this you are all eager to go to ahobalam same here <laughs> uh and then there is finally uh, karanjan narsimha karanjan narsimha is uh, overseeing the moon planet and Karan uh, and Karanja, anyone who takes shelter of Karanja Narasimha, uh, he becomes he gets the power to uh, do austerities. Here in is in is in is doing tapasya. So sometimes we have difficulty to to you know uh, to do austerities, ekadashi or other vratas. And both austerity of the mind, of the words and of actions. You no, know, uh, where we immediately speak something. bad or we get angry we, are, we do something wrong so one gets the cap capacity the power to because there the minds because of the minds influence we many many times are we you know our uh, senses are not in control so one becomes one is able to uh, practice sense control and is able to do tapasya and also uh, karanja narsi protects one from many enemies that one can have So, therefore, Krishna Graha Grihita Atma. 
when one when one is completely under the influence of lord krishna lord narasimha dev then all other influences of any of the planets a devotee need not worry but provided the devotee is taking complete shelter of the lord and which is the uh, the many most important aspect and when we hear the story of prahlad maharaj uh, we gain that you know faith that confidence that yes if i take shelter of the lord and then if i if i worship the lord meditate on the lord the way my guru has taught me and be grateful for the opportunity to remember krishna in any situation om apavitro pavitro va sarva avastham gato piva yas mare pundari kaksham sabhaya abhyantara suchi in any situation of the lord if i remember the form uh, the lord then no by this i will be able to cross over uh just recently there was the ram lalla pratishta uh, ran pratishta happened and many devotees had gone awesome not many devotees but some devotees had gone and radhanand maharaj had also gone and uh, and you no know, one particular story that i uh, heard is that when maharaj was going uh, uh, to different places so he uh, went to kanak bhavan and the kanak bhavan is where dashrat maharaj had a uh, kaiki uh, dashrat maharaj had given a golden palace to kaiki and kaiki gave that as marriage gift to ram and sita and uh, in uh, in kanak bhavan you no know, they went to take darshan and as they were coming out there was this beautiful painting of uh, ram and lakshman uh, going along with vishwamitra and on the other side was the painting of uh, ram and uh, lakshman uh, sita ram returning back from uh, mithila uh, after getting married so they uh, maharaj was constantly looking at this painting beautiful faint painting of uh, ram and lakshman going to the forest along with vishwamitra and you no know, nice painting and this brahmachari was telling that you no know, uh he kept on gazing at this form and by then the time to close the temple came the security guard was you know, making everyone leave but when he saw you no know, uh, maharaj being so absorbed in looking at this you no know, form of the lord uh then the the security guard also got uh, stopped you no know, uh, telling to go out and he was waiting when will he stop his absorption and like almost like 10 15 minutes he was just gazing at one painting and then he turned to the other side then he was gazing at sita ram's uh, painting uh, as they got married and returning back and then you know he asked his brahmachari do you notice something here said maharaj uh, what do i notice that nice painting no 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 ram and lakshman they are having peacock feather so and because they are wearing peacock feather it is krishna also is there and ram is also there and you uh, know uh, this verse is stavara jangama deki na deki tarasthan ishta deva spura so what is one ishta dev he, he is able to see everywhere so so same way here is a beautiful painting of ram and lakshman but because of the peacock feather no i uh, gaudiya vaishnava uh, maharaj is remembering in the form of lord ram my uh, lord krishna so when one is absorbed then wherever he goes he starts to see uh, that way so we need to develop that attraction uh, to the lord and you no know, to minimize our uh, attraction to this but that will only happen the more we get attracted by the by hearing from a guru from a pure devotee when we hear knowledge like how did prahlad maharaj get such an attraction from narad muni because narad muni so uh, narayana parayana and that quality bounced on to reflected on to uh, prahlad maharaj and he also made this endeavor to see the lord everywhere and in that way he was fearless so i'll uh, no uh, 
conclude here and we'll see if any devotees have any comments or questions uh, or any corrections. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for this wonderful class. Very nicely, you gave all the details about all the different uh, Narsinga Dev, and finally, you said, like, when we are totally surrendered to the Lord, everything is automatically taken care. Thank you, thank you, Prabhuji. Yes, so thank the complete you. and the faith in the Lord is what the more important, the basic thing starts with. Thank you, Prabhu. and uh, now I request Sukaka Krishna Prabhu, you can ask your question. Hare Krishna, Mataji, thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Brajmohan Prabhu. It was such a wonderful class. All the line Narsimhas, everybody will know what is to be done. And finally, you concluded that if one is fully surrendered to Krishna, then everything is taken care. But every aspect people want to see for the wealth, for the marriage of daughter. So each Narsimha can be... See, in the material world, we are all... Not we, not you, I'm, I'm telling me. We're seeing here, there, so... You are giving one solution from all the Nava Narasimhas. So yes, it is yes. really very fantastic. Nobody told me before this. So it's a really eye-opener. And the Radhanath Maharaj thing was really something astounding that, you know, he was seeing again and again for half an hour the guard came and he could see the peacock feather. So that means Krishna manifest. If you are a Gaudiya, I will show you as Krishna Balram. <laughs> many, many thank Prabhu. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Wonderful, thank Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Now I request Sri Isopanath Mataji. You can ask your question. Hare Krishna. Jai, Hare Krishna. Hari Bo. Thank you so very much for the different qualities and planets of Sri Nishinga Day. I just was just overwhelmed. I said, wow, this is amazing. Uh, we're only familiar with the one, uh, you know, um, influence of Nishinga Day. And that's what, uh, but when you explain it with the planets, what can I find that chart? Can we? Can you post that? I uh, I I'll post it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, that is so wonderful. Thank you so very much. Hari Bo, Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna. I will see if there are any questions in the chat. There are no questions, Prabhuji. Yeah. Yeah. So, so please plan for a Ahobulam visit to see all these nine forms of the Lord whenever you make your India trip. Or you, also come with us. Or you also come with us. Come my with pleasure. Us. It will be my pleasure to take you all. I had gone once, but I, nobody told me about that. I went once to Ahobulam, but nobody told about all that. Yeah. Different this Navanasim temple, uh, people only think there are nine different no, yeah. it is, but there is this 10th temple which many people miss, which has no, this what is different that? This Navagras are there, and then the, the all the nine forms oh. are there at one place. So, where is it, Prabhu? Is it in the Ugras number side or where it is? No, no, it, it is on the ground only. It is on the ground. Nobody thought. Yeah, Hare thank you, Pranam. Thank you so much. Uh, very, very wonderful class. And thank you for sure giving darshan of uh, different different Narsimhas from South India. So, Prabhuji, my question is like um, you said uh, to worship this Narsimha, then you, he will take the um, like uh, dosha in your like astrology uh, if you are manga like that. So, Prabhuji, is there any Narsimha for Pitru dosha taking away Pitru? Because uh, when we go to Australia, they always tell about Pitru Dosha. Your family has Pitru Dosha. So, uh, mm, you worship. I need, to, I need to check. It must be because it is said all the Doshas that whatever influences are there from different because even Pitru Loka is a Graha. So, all the Grahas are just like it is said, you know, Karanjan Narasimha, it protects you from all the enemies. Whatever are the enemies, whatever are the... And Pavana Narasimha, he protects one from the present and past lives that uh, we have. We have. We have been there. If there is any, you know, uh, sin that have, we have committed, it is uh, removed. 
and of course the bhagavatam says that you no know, uh, anyone who becomes a devotee of lord narsimha dev all his pitris are delivered so that verse is directly there in the bhagavatam that that when one you no know, and uh, the the only thing to know is that you know we should be taking shelter of the lord fully and uh, doing the needful as per uh, as per the whatever is a uh, krishna has put a system also uh, in place so we do the needful like basic rituals that are there to you know for our forefathers our duties all that we do it's not that we just pray to the lord and we don't do anything that's why i said it should balance with dependence and diligence that we are alert and fighting like arjuna the same time in our heart we are like draupadi fully dependent on the lord so one should balance this so whatever is the needful aspects in terms of one's profession or in terms of this influence but really know that the truly all these things will can only go especially if there is some part kind of puja that is uh uh going against bhakti principles of bhakti or something that is going to take your lot of time or lakshmi or energy then one need not you know but if something is uh comes within the realm of our capacity and uh, our not really you know influencing our faith in our full faith in the lord then these are lord systems only that he has put uh for pitru dosha like you know the when the pitra paksha comes those 15 days we are supposed to you no know, offer some uh, vishnu prasad to them so that they you know they are delivered if, in case they are still there and in the bhagavat uh, mahabharat you no know, narad muni tells you no know, the pandava your uh, pandavas that pandu maharaj is still in the pitru loka therefore you should do this uh, rajasu yagya so that he gets delivered so they are full full fledged devotees but el- along with the dependence as if the lord had a purpose by which you know for which they were willing to you know uh do this okay yeah yes prabhu ji thank you so much and prabhu ji one more thing like we um, usually worship the narsingha dev from mayapur yes so, yes sir so in in one form the lord all forms are there are they are they are all same form the whole pur- purpose is specifically no highlighting this different uh, no blessings that different forms of the lord give and so we also no take shelter of uh, individually and you know and of uh, ugra narsimha that is you no know, that that is there in mayapur uh, who was all was always there not narsimha and krishna are the same i think uh, radha one devotee uh, saw in the face of narsimha dev madhav radha madhav's face and you know he came and he asked the janani was poor said yes they are they are the same person when the lord is with devotees he is as soft as madhav but when there is an obstacles that come then to protect the devotees from the obstacles he manifests as narsimha Thank you so much Prabhu ji. Thank you Prabhu ji for this wonderful answer it was really Thank you for Hare Krishna Prabhu ji dhanavad pranam all glories to Srila Prabhupad thank you so much Prabhu ji for such a beautiful class um Prabhu ji uh, where can i find all this information that you are speaking now so for the reference um for reading when, when... when i had gone to ahobalam then i had noted noted it down it was uh, you know no written there but i made a note i i can i share on the group oh thank you thank you prabhu ji thank you so much i just want to read it one more time and yeah, yeah. i really like the the thing that you were sharing uh, today morning um, when we went, when you went to the dt worship how that uh, senior devotee uh, instead of 
uh, disturbing others, other pujaris. He was like uh, asking permission and doing obeisances to the particular deity he was serving. Instead of stopping something, you do it in another way. That uh, I really like Prabhuji because I do follow that. Um, uh, as like uh, we have a uh, like five days off to the altar. So what do we do? Is like I I generally does not, I feel like very disturbance. Uh, how can I I can stop my worship? So I just do my prayers standing far away from the deity and I finish my deity worship like that. When I heard this, I was able to relate to it. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for sharing that. Yes, uh, very grateful to you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Hare, Hare Krishna yes. Prabhu. I just want Krishna. to answer the Hare Krishna Prabhu. I want to share the, my information about Shamagori Mataji, about Mayapur. Now, I heard a lecture from one of Prabhupada's disciples. Uh, I think Prabhupada's god brother. I think it was uh, Shubhag Maharaj from uh, Bayapur. He told, like in Vrindavan, everybody goes to Gover, uh, Giri Govardhan because he's like the senior member. He's a Haridas of Arya. So any problem in Radha Krishna will go to Giri Govardhan only because uh, he's like the senior person. Like that, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to the material world, he made Narsimha as the senior person for, for the Navadvip people. And so he's being given the respect like a senior uh, person. And uh, Prabhupada told in one of the lectures that previously there was no Narsimharati at all. And once Prabhupada was very, very sick, so at that time he was in Mayapur, he said, start Namaste Narasimhaya. It was started by Prabhupada. Before that, Arati was not there. Even in Iskorn also, there was no Narsimharati. It was only Mangalarati chanting, Tulsi Arati and all. So this Prabhupada has introduced. So Narsimha got the importance because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established like in Vrindavan, it is Giri Govardhan. All even uh, the Vrajavasas will go and they will take the shelter of uh, Giri Govardhan in Mayapur with Narsimha Deva. This I wanted to share. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Shamagori Thank you, Rajmohan Prabhu. Sorry, I didn't interfere, but I wanted to share whatever I have heard. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. There is one question in the chat, Prabhuji, by Radha Jyoti Mataji. She is asking, how to pray to Krishna for the services if we are facing hindrance? And what are the prayers for all Narshinga Dev? Uh, prayers for all Narshinga Dev. Uh, let me find. I had somewhere. Uh, there are there are specific prayer for each Narshinga Dev that is uh, composed by the Sri Vaishnavas. If I find that, you know, I'll send that. And... Uh, when we are facing entrance, yes, we pray to Narsimha Dev, uh, to you know, who is also also you no know, Ganesh is gets this power Vigna Harta when he prays to Lord Narsimha Dev. So Narsimha Dev is our shelter when we and of course after our for our services we also there is a Aparada mantras where we you know take forgiveness for any kind of basically the mood is that of humility and dependence and if the and gratitude. Uh, if that is their humility and gratitude, then there won't be you know, uh, uh, offenses that we commit or trouble, hindrance. And whatever hindrances come, you know, we need to uh, have a spiritual master or a senior devotee to help us how to see this uh, as Mahaprabhu was told by Advaita Acharya that obstacles uh, are your servants. So when devotees face obstacles, it is for a higher level or a deeper you know, uh, level of Krishna consciousness that the Lord is pushing us. And uh, so when we face entrances, it is either to you know, correct our mood or to increase our uh, absorption. So that way uh, we and we should you know do this under under guidance of a devotee that uh, knows us that can guide us. And that how do we you know, overcome different hindrances? But definitely we do pray and we you know do you do seek uh, growth by serving the Lord because if we don't take services then there, there won't be much growth. Just uh, bhakti is much more is more experiential than just educational. The education is needed. Uh, but experience, but experiencing bhakti comes when we serve devotees, when we serve the deities, when we serve the mission. 
then we by the grace of chaitanya mahaprabhu we get the experience element so therefore always you know never show away from services uh we have a capacity and other aspects of your life try to do some or other service and even when we chant even that's a service to uh that is bhakti and how how is it service because we are helping uh by radha and krishna to you know come together in their names so just like hanuman ji brought ram and the sita together so everything uh, is imbued with hari radha and krishna so when we chant hare we are invoking the energy of the lord and when we are chanting krishna we are invoking krishna directly and we are bringing these two these two aspects of there pan shlokanand maharaj ji was giving a class here and he said hare krishna and after he said hare krishna he stopped he didn't say anything and the devotees were wondering what is this hare krishna bol diya aur ruk gaye and then he said after i say hare krishna is there anything else to say because hare in hare krishna everything else is covered hare is the energy of the lord and krishna is the the lord and everything that is there in this universe is actually hare krishna so when we chant hare krishna the that is also we also implement that hare krishna that we are bringing the energy of the lord to the lord in his service so so even chanting hare krishna is to prepare us and in in the in the energy form in the sound form we are doing that service okay yes prabhu thank you thank, thank you so much prabhu ji i have one question i have heard that uh, uh, Ra, we will not ask any uh, help from krishna because we don't want to disturb krishna in the his leela so we will go to narsingha dev to ask for all these uh, removal of hindrances and all that uh, so can you please explain about that and is there a state that uh, for the next level is that we don't even go to narsingha dev that we uh, for any hindrances and we just concentrate on uh, serving radha krishna uh, is there any uh, stage that like that and uh, somehow that uh, for attraction See, for lord one one is krishna consciousness is not a invention is not a addition that we do in our life it is actually discovery and an awareness that we are always dependent on krishna we are just becoming aware through that specific expression so even when we are trying ourselves we know we should be aware that this capacity to try is also given by krishna and we are just you no know, honoring and respecting that energy that a capacity that the lord has given the mother has given 100 rupees to the child and the child you know instead of using the 100 rupees is again coming and asking i want to buy for this mother will say i already given you 100 rupees what are you doing with that so 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 even when a devotee is you not know, uh, attempting himself to uh, solve his problems even is aware that this uh, capacity that is is not mine it is krishna's this so therefore even as he is trying he is depending on the lord and after his all his attempts with the capacity that with the 100 rupees that has been given when he sees now even my capacity that the lord has given is not then he you no know, goes to that helpless dependence but so therefore krishna consciousness is an awareness is a journey of awareness otherwise we are always dependent on the lord whether it be a non devotee or a devotee the breath that we are taking the body that is you know is made and how it is working it is not our capacity our you know invention the lord you know through the whole karmic system has given us this and therefore proper to say you know the scientists are glorifying a, uh, another scientist but who has given the brain to that scientist one is not being aware of that therefore krishna consciousness is more an awareness is a journey of awareness that in everything we are actually we are actually dependent but bhakti is specific expression of that dependence so we are aware and the lord is pleased by our 
acceptance of that fact just like you know mother whether child you no know, thanks the mother or not she always is serving but when the child thanks or is happy is accepting then the mother is happy that the child is you no know, accepting the gifts that i am taking so so krishna is happy when we chant his names when we offer gratitude but otherwise everyone is dependent on the lord Yeah, when we do something, Krishna is more happy. When we receive, yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, also he is taking. Care Otherwise, of also we are dependent. Our existence is that of no dependence. We are minute living entities, dependent on the Lord's no organization and system. Uh, so we should have that mood always to be dependent, to be praying. Yes. We we don't have to feel uh, guilty that. Uh, We are disturbing or something. It is no, our no, no, nature no. to be dependent. Okay. It is our nature to be dependent. But as I said, if some God has given us something, it's our duty and respect to Him to use that uh, in the mode of dependence. That let me use that uh, before, you no, know, specifically going and asking the Lord for more. Yes. First, we have to be aware that did I try my best? And once we try our best. and knowing that even this whatever is my best is lord's gift only then i go and ask that's why draupadi in the initial you no know, period she tried to protect herself and krishna is not that you know he is he doesn't want his devotees to try to protect but but that mood that draupadi had was that this is my you no know, effort this is my uh, my family that is going to protect me but when she became totally helpless that time she realized that actually none of them can protect me but if we have that awareness even before then then even when we are doing our daily duties like janak maharaj which propad mentions we are in that mode mode only like draupadi as we are working as we are serving as we are you no know, uh, managing this is not mine this is is nirmamo nirahankara as in the 415 chapter krishna says that one should not have be overwhelmed by this is mine or uh, this is who i am thank you thank you very much devotees you are all so eager to learn and grow so always a pleasure to come to the bhakti sangha group and get some of your energy of devotion so i can you know implement that uh, thank you very much hari krishna thank you so much prabhu ji grantra shivan bhagavatam ki jai shri lakshmi shri lakshmi pad ki jai ananta koti vanchaka ruvya stha pasand bhi pasand bhi aaja pavan bhi aaja pavan namo namaha koti vanchaka thank you jai jai राधे 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 राधे